Welcome back. In this video, we're going to create a scalar, a vector, a matrix, and then a 3D tensor, meaning an n-dimensional tensor of three dimensions or more. And the first thing we're going to do, also I wanted to mention that we're using Google Colab right now just because we're learning the foundational things and we're not creating any projects. In the upcoming videos, we will be using a local development environment using one of the <laughs> development environments that we talked about in, in the very first skill, which is of this course, the Professional TensorFlow Developer course, which is using Jupyter Notebook or PyCharm or well, actually, Visual Studio Code is probably what we'll probably be using that and Visual and Jupyter Notebook. But this skill, I just wanted to give you that little sort of caveat that we're not going to jump into that until we actually dive into actual projects. All right. So that being said, let's do some coding. All right. So first, we're going to import TensorFlow. Uh, what just happened? Let's try that again. <laughs> import TensorFlow as tf and we're also going to use numpy so let's import numpy as well as np all right so the first time you run this it takes a second but what we're going to do here is just define write some comments while this is loading so here we're going to create a scalar tensor they're all called tensors in tensorflow they're all different kinds of tensors and this one is going to have zero dimensions And yeah, so that's what we're going to do there. Oh, with a constant value. And here I do want to mention that there's constant and variable. These are the two different kinds. Constant means you can't change it. It's immutable and variable is mutable. So just keep that in mind. It's very much like programming languages. All right, so let's do it. So a scalar. And we could define that like we mentioned in the previous video, which is tf.constant, and you can't change this once you sort of initialize this or create it. All right, so that's the scalar, and now we can print and let's say scalar zero dimensions. Or we can say, yeah, let's call it a zero dimension tensor, and then we're going to add this in a space and then scalar like that. All right, so here's our zero dimension tensor. You can see there it is. And then it has no shape because it has zero dimension. And this is also called a rank zero tensor. Not rank O, rank zero. There we go. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Here, we're going to create a vector. Vector tensor. And this is going to have one dimension. So we can call this a one dimensional tensor. All right. So here, a tensor, or actually vector. TF dot. Again, constant. And here we're going to pass in that list looking object like this. And then here we're going to print vector one dimension tensor colon. And then here we'll add a comma and then vector that we just created. All right, let's check that out. All right, so there it is. One, two, three. It has a shape of three, meaning um, it's just a column. There's no rows and columns, right? So we'll, that's why there's only one shape here. And here is the data type is an integer. So we're using ints. So if we had floats here, um, it would be different. All right, so let's jump to the next one. And here we're going to create a matrix tensor. And this would be a two-dimensional Tensor. Okay, so let's define matrix. And, and we're going to use TF constant. Again, 
And then here, if you remember, if you want to pause this and give it a try, go for it. That's a great idea. So in here, we're going to pass in two lists. It's like a nested list, right? So in here, we're going to say one, two, and try to imagine what shape this might be. Three, four. And here we're going to print this, and this is going to be matrix. Two dimensional tensor. And then close the let me see. Ah, so this is a matrix and which is a two dimensional tensor. And then we're going to return matrix. All right. And now we get a shape of two and two. So let's check this out. So it's a two dimensional tensor and we can see that here, but look at the formatting. It's different, right? So here's this shape two, two. So look at this. We have one column two columns. So that's where the first two comes from, which is this one right here, because this one is only one column, right? And then this one has two. I actually, I should clarify this is really considered more of a row for the vector. And then the matrix is considered rows and columns, right? And that's why we have the shape two, two. And that's why here we have the shape of three only. So think of it as a row, but really it's not either a row or a, or a column here for this uh, vector. It's rather a single dimension. So if it's a single dimension, it's only going to have this one, sh the shape just one shape, right? And it'll tell you what that is here. It's going to be a number comma, and that's it. No other number where here we have two comma two. So we definitely have a uh, rows and columns. You can think of it like that, but for vector, definitely think of it as a single dimension. All right. So let's go to three in higher dimensions with a tensor. And here we're going to use TF dot constant again. And we're going to pass in, this is going to be quite a bit. So this, this is the first bracket. And then we're going to do two of these brackets. And then inside of this bracket, we're going to have two more brackets like this. And the same thing inside of this blue one here. So let me show you what's happening here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And I did not write the comment. Let me do that now. So this is a create a higher dimension tensor. Dimension. All right. So this would be a three E tensor with N dimensions. All right. So let's print this. And here we're going to say three, or this is say tensor in this case, and print tensor. All right, so let's see what happens. All right, so check this out. So let's break this down. The first dimension I was going to try to type this out, but I think it's going to be a lot easier if I just. Um, draw it out. So let's do that. So think of the first dimension as a depth of two. And by that, I mean, if you go back here, you can see that we have one, two, one, two. So this one here, let me draw that a little bit better. So that's the dimensions that I'm talking about, or the depth, I should say. So we can think of that as one matrix and then another matrix. Now let's go explore both of these. So that first matrix is going to have this comma. And then here's the second part of that. And then closing brackets. And then let me just say first matrix. And then the second matrix will look like this. that comma, and then the second one finishes out here like that. So we have first 
dimension is going to indicate that there is really um, two separate 2D matrices in the tensor, right? So here's the first one, and here's the second one. So when we look at the first matrix, you can see this one, and then there's a second matrix, you can clearly see this one. Now, going back to the code, this should make a lot more sense. Because here, we, we don't have any dimensions, because it's just a number here, this is one dimension, right? You could think of it as a row, but really it's just one dimension. And here you can think of this as two dimensions because we have what you could think of as row and rows and columns. But this really, you can see that there's like a matrix right here. And then this one where we have multiple, or here is three dimensions or n-dimensional tensor, you really have two matrices inside, right? And that first dimension is telling you that you have a shape of two, and then you have, you can see the, the first shape here, and then you have two two by twos in there. And that should make a lot more sense. All right, so that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to create random tensors. See you there.